career that spanned over four decades, it's hard to imagine that everyone doesn't know who Marky Post is. If you ever watched her on a sitcom, there's a good chance you not only remember her, but you fell for her too. Because this beautiful and talented actress shone bright on shows like The Fall Guy, Hearts of Fire, and my personal favorite as Christine Sullivan on Night Court. Marky Post was relatable. There was something about her that made you want to trust her. And you can trust me, your host, Nostalgic Nick, to properly toast to Marky Post. So just how did she go from dealing cards on NBC's Card Sharks to becoming one of the biggest television sex symbols of the 80s and 90s? Let's find out a little more about the wonderful Marky Post. Early Life Marky Post was born Marjorie Armstrong Post on November 4, 1950 in Palo Alto, California. Her father, Richard, was a nuclear physicist and her mother, Mary Lee, a poet. She and her two siblings attended Las Lomas High School in Walnut Creek, California, where Marky was a cheerleader. She then earned a Bachelor of Arts degree from Lewis and Clark College in Portland. And now the education was done, so it was time for television. Just not in front of the camera quite yet. Game Shows From the Fall Guy, Marky Post! At the beginning of her career, she worked behind the scenes on several game shows. First as a member of the production crew on Tom Kennedy's version of Split Second. Then in 1967, she earned an associate producer credit for Alex Trebek's Double Dare, before finally shuffling and dealing magic as a card dealer on NBC's Card Sharks. Think along the lines of Vanna White, but with giant playing cards instead of an E or S. And as her career in front of the camera began in the early 80s. She transitioned from the production team of game shows to appearing as a contestant. She appeared on Match Game, Hollywood Squares, and Super Password, and even helped a contestant win the $100,000 grand prize in a November 1987 tournament episode of Pyramid. Cause Marky seemingly always had good luck. Fall into success. Her first acting credit was in a television movie called Frankie and Annette the Second Time Around in 1978. It was a new hopeful series pilot, but it did not get a warm reception, and Frankie Avalon and Annette Funicello would not get a third time around. But Frankie would also be Grease's teen angel that same year, so at least he was comforted by that. 1979 welcomed guest spots on the most popular shows, playing Roberta on Chips, and a season one two-parter of Buck Rogers in the 25th century. And we have an entire episode devoted to that sci-fi adventure. If you you want to travel to the 25th century with us. In 1980, she completed all four episodes of the short-lived David Hasselhoff show Semi-Tough, as well as the pilot episode for 1981's Simon and Simon. And if you wanted to start a new show, Marky Post was your gal, and the success rate of those shows was about to go up. Teaming up with Lee Majors in The Fall Guy, she joined this $6 million man vessel for season two and beyond, playing Terry Michaels, a bail bondswoman and who replaced Big Jack. And this really is where America began to fall for this incredible actress. She appeared in 65 episodes from 1982 to 85. Let us know in the comments what your favorite bounty hunting episode was. Order in the court. I finally met a guy that thinks that I'm interesting and fun and he almost gets me. Marky's fall guy role led right into her next, possibly career-defining role, as Christine Sullivan in the wildly funny Night Court. From 1984 until 92, she played a public defender who first appeared in season two but wasn't a recurring character until three, transforming into a crowd favorite for the rest of the run. Christine was the romantic interest for the lead character Harry Stone, the Mel Torme loving judge. And Christine was so charming as she dodged advances from Dan Fielding all along the way. And we can't forget Christine's infatuation with Princess Di, the royal family, or her collection 
collection of porcelain thimbles. And we remember these details because Marky Post was so dynamic, so memorable. Night Court ran for nine seasons and racked up over 30 Emmy nominations. And yes, of course, we have a Night Court video as well, noting all the lesser known details of our favorite nighttime courtroom. Post, along with some of the cast of Night Court, appeared on the 2008 episode of 30 Rock, the one with the cast of Night Court, to finally give Night Court a proper finale and resolve the love triangle from the show. It was a fun way to see our favorite characters again. I loved Harry Anderson asking Tina Fey if there was any job openings at 30 Rock. Hey, are you with Network? Uh, how about if Heroes had this new character and his superpower was like close-up magic? What? Outrageously funny even 15 years later. Post's post-career. In 1992, Marky co-starred with the one and only John Ritter in the political comedy Hearts of Fire. What have you got in your mouth? Oh, that's a cookie, I found it. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but I think that's a dog biscuit. It enjoyed three seasons until 95, and Marky's Georgie Ann was sensational, and she and Ritter made one heck of a sizzling, sexy sitcom. Post called Hearts of Fire, quote, the best thing I had ever done, the best scripts I had ever gotten to do. Marky then appeared in the 1998 outrageous film comedy, There's Something About Mary. She really was the perfect mother to Cameron Diaz. You know, in the flashback scenes when We Got a Bleeder became the stuff of legends and nightmares. Then it was right back to TV, playing the mom, Julia Whitney, for the lone season of Odd Man Out. And I felt so sorry for Andrew Whitney, must have been really rough living with all those beautiful women. And this brought her to her most recent television mainstay, part of the life-saving drama Chicago PD. She played Barbara Bunny Fletcher for 18 episodes for the first four seasons, as Sophia Bush's mother. But terribly, Marky Post was diagnosed with cancer the same year she concluded Chicago PD in 2017. And of course, it slowed her down, but it did not stop her. She viewed her chemotherapy as just another job that she had to complete. She would work on projects when she wasn't receiving treatments, always striving to keep a positive attitude. Personal Life Marky Post was very involved with family. She was kind, attentive, and always willing to lend a helping hand when needed. Her first husband was actor Stephen Knox. The couple met during their time at Lewis and Clark College and were married in 1971. But that did not last long and they were divorced a year later. Her second marriage was in 1982, the same year she began The Fall Guy. She wed Michael A. Ross, an actor, producer, and writer. When asked about having kids in 1986, Marky replied, quote, Of course I'd like children, but I have to get over my impression that being pregnant is like popping corn. You expand and expand until you pop. Well, the following year, she got over her kernel of fear, and Michael and Marky welcomed their first daughter, Katie, who has followed in her mother's footsteps and has become an actress and writer as well. Their second daughter was born in 1990, but Daisy tries to avoid the spotlight, but is happily married with a daughter of her own, which means Marky was a proud grandmother. The beautiful Marky Post lost her four-year battle with cancer on August 7, 2021. She was 70 years old and died at her home in LA. Marky's Chicago PD daughter, Sophia Bush, tweeted the following tribute. She was a rock, a light, a great friend, and a phenomenal scene partner. She brought sunshine everywhere she went. Marky's family released the following statement. For us, our pride is in who she was in addition to acting. A person who made elaborate cakes for friends, sewed curtains for first apartments, and showed us how to be kind, loving, and forgiving in an often harsh world. Those are some beautiful yet heart-wrenching words. Marky Post made an impact on thousands of people with her work in TV. What's your favorite Marky moment from Night Court? Do you have a favorite non-Night Court role of hers? Maybe the fall guy, or even her Fantasy Island guest appearances. She commanded your attention whenever she was on screen. But now it's time for me to get off screen. So if you enjoyed today's deep dive, consider clicking that thumbs up for us and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a throwback. But from all of us here at Do You Remember, we wanna thank you for watching.